So we all know that osteoarthritis is a progressive disease and the final answer to osteoarthritis is a total knee replacement surgery. But previously there was not a good understanding about the progress of osteoarthritis and why osteoarthritis, why and how the osteoarthritis progress in a particular knee. And previously we could not do anything which can product, uh, protect the knee from progression of arthritis. So uh, here in this today's talk we will be talking about okay, why does osteoarthritis occur and how does it progress. So we all know that about 90 to 95 percent of osteoarthritis is a varus osteoarthritis which occurs in medial compartment. So if you draw the diagram of the knee, so this is your knee joint. So you have a lateral meniscus here and you have a medial meniscus here. So more commonly the arthritis in 90 percent of cases is a medial joint arthritis. The arthritis occurs to art for arthritis to occur the medial meniscus should be non-functional till the medial meniscus is there and it is functional arthritis should not technically happen so osteoarthritis on the medial side that is also called as a varus osteoarthritis is usually caused by you initiated by a meniscal injury or some patient may have a varus deformity. Now, if there is a meniscus tear, this varus deformity may progress. So you can have a simple meniscus vertical tear or a horizontal tear, which can lead to dysfunctional meniscus, which is leading to osteoarthritis. Or sometimes you will have a root tear. So this, if this is the meniscus, so this is a semicircular meniscus. The root, that is the meniscus can tear from this portion and which may lead to the meniscus to shift on the medial side and this is called as meniscus extrusion. This phenomenon was not understood before. So now we know that meniscus tear either in form of a meniscus tear in the substance or meniscus tear from the root is a predisposing factor for development of osteoarthritis. So what happens? If there is a root injury, the meniscus extrudes on the medial side like here and once the meniscus is extruded out of the joint, then it becomes dysfunctional. So this causes increase in the varus deformity because meniscus is a soft tissue which is entrapped in between the joint and so if it is extruding out, the patient will develop a little bit of varus deformity without any bone loss. So a meniscus extrusion can cause a little bit of varus deformity without coldness. So this concept is very important. So this is one of the predisposing factor for osteoarthritis. And these patients you will see, if you see the MRI, you will see the hyperintensity in this region and the hyperintensity in this region on the tibia and on the femur. So these lesions were previously denominated as SONC lesions spontaneous osteonecrosis of the knee. So later we now we know that SONK the SONK lesion of the knee is basically a root tear. Because of the root tear the meniscus extrudes out and there is direct loading of the medial compartment of the femur. So medial femoral condyle you may have increased hyperintensity on the MRI that is labeled as a SONK lesion that is spontaneous osteonecrosis of the knee. Also occasionally you will have hyperintensity in this region. So now as this extrusion progress, there is a point loading of weight in this area. So occasionally you can develop micro fractures in this area and this area. And once the extrusion starts, there is a progression of weight transmission on the medial side. And that can lead to bony deformity as well. Okay. So now with the understanding of all these things, now prior to a total knee replacement, because as I told you total knee replacement is the final solution for all these things. And previously because this concept was not, not understood, the prior to that the treatment was a high tibial osteotomy. And high tibial osteotomy basically relies on the fact 
that because in any kind of a progressive virus deformity, the loading of the knee shift on the medial side, and if you do an osteotomy and shift the load bearing axis, this axis will shift onto the lateral side. So STO is based on this principle. So previously STO was used in pre-arthritis stage. Now, with the advent of arthroscopic measures and understanding of these biomechanics, uh, we know that there is a root tear. So, if we address the root tear, and the other thing that has a progression uh, happens is extrusion repair. So, now we also put anchors on the middle tibia and repair it here. So, we can do an extrusion repair with a root repair, and that can actually delay the progression of osteoarthritis. Okay, so extrusion repair along with root repair can lead to delay in the progression of osteoarthritis because that will cause the meniscus to be in its place rather than extruding out. So they, it may give some extra years to the limb. So this is one uh, thing that has come up. The other thing that I want to emphasize is the presence of ACL will also determine the pattern of BN and pattern of arthritis. If the ACL is normal, the ACL is normal, you will have anterior medial wear. If the ACL is torn, you will have posterior medial wear. That means that if the ACL is intact, the loading, if we talk about the meniscus and the knee, the loading will be in this area. And the extrusion will also help in this. So, with an intact ACL, a root tear and extrusion will lead to anterior medial arthritis of the knee, which starts. Whereas, if there is a laxity of the PCL, of the PCL is torn, the wear will be in the posterior horn of the middle meniscus and the posterior part of the tibia. So, this is the important concept. So, anterior middle wear is more commonly associated with intact ACL along with a meniscus pathology, which is a root tear and extrusion. So, if you have a root tear which is not addressed for some time, the first place you will start seeing wear is the anterior medial part of the tibia. Okay. So, this anterior middle bear, if it is a solitary anterior middle bear, which is accompanied by lesion on the tibia and on the femur. Okay. So, I am talk, talking a progressive stage one by one. So, if there is a root tear, you can address root tear, root repair and you are done. If the disease is progressed, you have a root tear with extrusion, you repair root, you repair the extrusion and you are done. STO will always be an option if you have a virus knee. But if you have a condition in which you have a root tear with an extrusion and with a lesion on the femur alone, then you can do root tear extrusion repair along with a condal procedure like a mosaic plastic 